for years we worked here at the Video King. Which was owned by this weird millionaire. And then he died in this strange accident. And left us a million dollars. Well, we can only have the money if we watch all the crazy old videos in this giant locker. It's like something out of a bad TV series. I guess, but somebody's gotta watch this stuff if nobody else is doing it. The Video King was a billionaire. A global thrill seeker skydiving everywhere When his parachute failed, he was crushed to dust And his will left Jay and Rick a million dollar trust But the will's got a stipulation If they wanna collect the dough Jay and Rick are gonna have to sit through every up the landscape. Wow, super fast. Groovy colors. It appears that Dexter has secured a winner for that stock car 150. Keep watching. <laughs> what are we watching here, Rick? This, this is the Hot Wheels cartoon series from 1969. It eventually was pulled off the air because the uh, Federal Trade Commission decided that it was basically just a commercial for Hot Wheels uh, toys. But, you know, compared to a lot of what's on the air now, it really isn't. It's just a shitty cartoon. Clearly very hot, as you say, but an unsafe vehicle. Right. <laughs> voice of Dexter Albert Brooks. Yeah. Engine, that sort of a minority, that mysterious uh, uh, combination of minorities character. is he's that guy, too, right? Yeah, is, is the comedian the Albert Brooks. Field. It's one of his first oh, jobs in Hollywood. Hey, what do I ever get to race for this club? Artists, you know girls can't drive for the hot she wheels. So and well. girls never took auto shop before either. And that reminds me, use any more bobby pins on cars and you're going to flush Yeah, what's shop. funniest Why about not? it being, a uh, you know, a controversial a cartoon because it sort of advertises well, for Hot Wheels cars is that, like, whoever makes Hot Wheels was perfectly well, happy to put a cartoon on the show that says, you know, girls can't really you know, yeah. race cars. Hot Wheels! Mattel. Hot Wheels! Oh, that's, that's right, yeah. By the uh, actually, theme song I think by Mike Curb, who was a uh, the house songwriter and uh, arranger for yeah, Bell here. Bell Records. Oh, okay. I, think. Oh, wow. I think. I think. That's the name sounds familiar. So I think you know. I think you and I have done some talking about Mike Curb yeah. on uh, your podcast. Yes. Completely conspicuous. show use the same kind of uh, repeating backgrounds as a lot of the sort of 60s cartoons did. Yeah, a fair amount. It's real limited animation. Well, here I am, Dexter. What is Dexter's it you kind of a riot. Artie, I'm in trouble. Casey Kasem. Yes, Rest in peace. my no good drivers. I oh, had really to fire not. Them all. <laughs> from what I from what I read, no, Casey Kasem does not rest in peace. To handle my new wheels. Why tell me? Because your fine driving has attracted my attention. Because those stupid, insensitive Hot Wheels don't appreciate you. So I said no bad yeah, his no character wheels. in this. Hey, wait, I, just I have to, to say, for the the his hot sexuality wheels. is I'm very not ambiguous. Them, <laughs> but but they did turn jobs. you down, didn't they? Well, yes. All right, I'll drive on one condition. None of your tricks. What tricks? Of course, to get into the demons, you'll have to pose as a boy. Why not? Being a girl sure hasn't helped me. There's, a There's your lesson, girls. There's a number of very dressed up as a boy. Odd things mentioned in this episode. Jesus. Wow! The Dexter Super is the finest stock car money can buy. <laughs> The most revealing thing is when he calls her dear at one point and she says, 
I'm not your deer. I'm just posing as a boy so that I can so that I can race. <laughs> yeah, it's very odd. What the? Any better? Anyone drive dead, hot bucket? Gotta wanna drive awful bad. What? Hey, not that way, you loon. She'll see you. Oh yeah. When I meet her, she's gotta be a little boy. And after the race, Jack Wheeler is going to be the littlest boy in racing. <laughs> <laughs> Like flying. Why did you hold her back? The car can do another 20 miles an hour. Once you get it fixed. Fixed? The fastest car in this part of the country fixed? It got kind of squirrely. Maybe you want to drive girls' rules. You tricked me into believing you could yeah. drive good as a guy. I'm better than a guy. Ha! <laughs> All right, I'll push your old go machine to the limit. Fine. Huh. There, Kip. Your work on that tuned header should add a few more horses. Just a matter of solving some simple equations. Jack, <laughs> get yourself up a new driver. <laughs> so I hear. Oh, Burning up the old boat. thought of that. Are you worried about losing the 150, Jack? Hey, yes. it's a living. And about Dexter's new driver. Did you have any Hot Wheels cars? No, I did. Nonsense. Wait, what's this? Fits you like a glove, my dear. I'm not your dear, and I'm only dressing like a boy so I can get to the race. Of course, of course. <laughs> We'll make this brief. To introduce our new driver, uh, uh, Artie. Hi, fellas. Where's he from? All in favor, uh, say aye. Where'd he drive before? The eyes have it. You practice some more, my dear. Uh, my boy. So she's sort Why of a Velma type. He's sort yeah, of a yeah, shaggy type. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's like this post He's kind of like a Ruby King well, kid type. That female out of the club soon as she whacks yeah, I guess. After the race, we on Post Scooby Doo, there's a lot of that sort of thing, isn't there? There's a lot of they were. I mean, I hate to acknowledge that Scooby Doo, which was really a piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, it was really evolutionary, you know, in terms of introducing hot chick, nerdy chick, these ridiculous templates, you know. Guy, stoner guy, yeah. Talking animal. You know, like uh, after Scooby Doo, you had the. The Funky Phantom, yeah. the Goober and the Ghost Chasers, and Josie and the Pussycats, and uh, Jabberjaw, Jabberjaw, Fangface, Dynamut, Speed Buggy, Captain I'm Caveman, Hong Kong Fooey. Oh, Hong Kong Fooey, where, where do you? Where are the templates? Who's your, who's your Shaggy? Who's your Velma? Yeah, well, yeah, they don't have the whole group right now. They don't have anybody. Yeah. They got Scatman. Yeah, he don't fit in any of those. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> he, he ain't Fred. <laughs> well, basically, you've got crime solving teens. Yeah. Come on. And yeah, you've got your Who are your teens? No, no, not that show. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, they were crime solvers. But, um, yeah, it was a crime solving dog and cat. Well, then you, you also have the, the talking animal thing, too. Cause there That's was, true. Uh, grape ape and stuff like that. Oh, my yeah. God. A grape ape. Well, that was just excruciating. <laughs> great babe, great babe. This is not watchable. <laughs> I watch it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's a purple ape that says his name. Great babe, great biggly, biggly. I'm pretty sure we can get a whole season out of that. <laughs> Pay the voice actor by the word. <laughs> Hot Wheels cars. I really loved them. I had a lot of Matchbox cars. I had those too. I had the, did you have those orange tracks? You can run them down. Yep. Oh, yeah. Shut down! Car not safe! My hair! Speaks in fragments. Still think this rod is too much for a girl? Okay, Buster. I'll show you. Uh, people are really wrapped. Do you think people are wrapped up as much in like gender roles as something like this would have you think? Well, I mean, you know, we watched uh, that show you Tabitha. You know, I mean, oh my gosh, there there was a, a lot of that, that I think in the sixties and seventies, you know, playing off that mother. Just like the girl, the girls can't do this, right. so they have to don't, pretend don't they can and like fake it. But in the end, they end up getting saved by, by a dude every time. <laughs> yeah. Your fault. 
Mothering the car. Now get out there Mother. and stand on it. You think about all the hours of voice acting that Casey Kasem did. I mean, it's, it's considerable. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh man, I wanna that, I wanna be able to say that before I die. I wanna say that legitimately to somebody. <laughs> so, so long, sucker. sucker. Yeah, see, you know, I think this sort of speaks to your concern before. It's not so much repetitive backgrounds as no backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, they're just like throwing paint down, and yeah. uh, you know, they're taking. It's like they, it's like they made it on film strips or something. You, you <laughs> did this, you girl. Yeah, girl. girl. Tough cap. So this these were like little mini episodes. This is like two per show. Right. Pretty fun. Bongos. Uh, Everybody like the bongos. I like the Let me guess. Yeah. Irish. Um. How can you be so sure? Oh, oh boy, this the usual so stereotype. Really the well, now. yes, yeah, yes, yes. He'll be Irish. <laughs> All right, boys. Nothing to see here. Move it along. Move it along, boys. Want to get me off to the pub? Die. Die. I, I looked, you know, I finally took the trouble to look it up. Did you know, like, like in the 1860s, more than, like, 50% of the New York police force was Irish? Yeah, that was sort of, like, the vocation. Yeah, it's because... They all left the. They all left Ireland because of the famine, and so they all hired each other <laughs> to be. To, it was a combination of them all. It was all a combination of nepotism hires, and them hiring to take care of the neighborhood. Right. Like hire their hire their own so that they'll sure, obey each other. <laughs> You were exceeding the speed limit. You were? Speed speed? You, were you were going 27 miles per hour in a 25 mile zone. <laughs> he acted like I was really standing on it. Like, I mean, after all, two miles an hour over the speed. Standing on it. And what he said, believe me, you wouldn't believe what he said. What'd he say? What'd he say? I'll tell you what I said. I said this place is a breeding ground for trouble, for law-breaking hot rodders, fast it's kids, like fast up cars. And down. That's what I said. <laughs> Just a minute, officer. O'Flaherty, Timothy O'Flaherty. I'm pleased to meet you. You're new to the police force here, I think. To the Metro City now this guy, the, the guy at the, 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 the it's Michael Rye doing the voice of the guy with the white hair the there. Right. He did a zillion cartoons. Yeah. He's like, he's like every incarnation of Spider-Man. He's been part of. He did all like a lot of superhero oh, cartoons, like all the Super Friends incarnations, Challenge of the Super Friends, you know, every re reboot of the Super Friends. He's part of. Keep this Michael Rye's real name? Yeah. John Michael Rorton Billsbury. That's his real name? That's his real name. Wow. That's a hell of a name. Yeah, it's good to, you know, change it. Born in uh, 1918. Yeah, he just died like two years ago. He was also in uh, Dr. Kildare and 77 Sunset Strip. Right, that was the other thing that I saw about him. him is he's interesting because like, he, he did a bunch of, like... Acting too, he was in like a lot of westerns and stuff like that, like Gunsmoke or something, you know, that sort of stuff. Yeah, he's in a ton of shows. Narrator of DuckTales. <laughs> well, yeah, everybody did that. Hey, so, for our garage. And so that guy's really goth. <laughs> it's like Nick Cave. Why'd you turn the cure off? <laughs> Good afternoon, officer. Good afternoon. I'm Dexter Carter, and I noticed that you were following me. 
I certainly hope I wasn't doing anything wrong. No, no, That's I can't say you Casey Kasem right there. That Dexter Carter needs a new shirt and a baseball bat to the head. <laughs> to work on our cars and conduct meetings on the merits of safe driving and the responsibility of being permitted to have a driver's license and general rules of courtesy on the streets and highways. That sort of thing, officer. Let's well, no, that sounds very interesting. Oh. Yes, indeed. We believe in safety and courtesy at all times. He's a silver-toned devil. Who, sure. Oh, well, not all young people in this town believe as we do. I mean, well, like that one club. They call themselves Hot Wheels. You know about them, of course. Yes, yes I do. We've asked them to attend like some of our meetings, type. but... These cops are sucking. We're having a meeting yeah. right is now. Gonna, you like to sit in and see for yourself. Come on, Well, I think era. I'll just do that. Oh, I can only spare great. a few minutes, but let's see what you're up to. It'll be a few minutes well spent, I assure you. Now, to continue from last week, when you see other kids speeding or possibly breaking the law, stop them if you can and explain to them. And if you ever see anyone dragging or racing, the person is faking this, so what's he pointing to? What did they have on the wall that he could get away with pointing? Well, the officer can't read, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, that's true. Because he's, he's too drunk? He's a drunk Irishman? This is great. So long, fellas. And drive safely. Primate like. I'll tell you one thing. Those hot wheels that they call themselves could certainly learn something if you could ever get them to come here. As I told you, I tried, but well, I've got to be going. Keep up the good work. He's sucker. Uh, we showed him both. Doi, doi. You want to be an actor? Still having that. You want to be an actor? Why not? Eight o'clock. The old farm road <laughs> south of town. You want to count down the American Top Forty the every week? Those guys grew up to be the Ramones. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Warren. What brings you here? I heard something in school today I thought you should know about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Santa. I heard there's going to be a drag race tonight. Oh, boy. Hmm. Dexter's demons, I'll bet. I might use the demons. To get you guys trouble. suck. Well, I think that's a fine thing to do. Who knows? Dexter might even appreciate it. Okay, here's what we do. Cover every possible yeah, friend. Place. Whoever finds them, try and stop them. <laughs> if they refuse, <laughs> then you have no choice but to call in the police. That's rather tough, isn't it? Well, it's better than somebody <laughs> maybe getting killed. Nikki, you go What's going through Albert Brooks' Brooks head as okay. he's freaking through his lights? Like, he's thinking thing. about getting right. groceries. Jesus <laughs> Christ, this is what it is right now. <laughs> Someday I'll make my own movies. <laughs> okay, let's move. And eventually, the voice of fish. <laughs> well, it'd be a groovy place for a drag, but a dirt road. It could also be a bad thing. Hey gang, let's take the mystery machine over to that old house. Someone's following us. It could also be a bad scene. Hey Pig, you got a tailgate? Yeah, he's pouring it on. Yeah, he's That's really right. bombing it. <laughs> Looking at each other, yeah, they're making right, eyes. Run right off into the woods. Me against you? Chicken? Are you kidding? This world. It's all very coded language. <laughs> you want to go? Oh, <laughs> Craig's this dad. But if you know what's good for you, we'll bust this up and split out of here before. Damn it. All right, out of here, you stay right where you are. And especially you. Dig, it's the man! Stop! <laughs> you do as I say. Don't move from this spot until I get back. All right, let's bomb out of here. Now! This is really a bad scene. This is really a bad scene. What are you doing? I'm going after Sergeant O'Flaherty. Try and explain. I'm tripping balls on this LSD. <laughs> Told me not to take the brown acid, but I did anyway. Now you look like a wolf. It's Judd Hirsch as the cop. <laughs> Pat Hingle. <laughs> It's like it flames before it even hits the tree. It's because they faked it. Doll. Oh. This is really a bad scene. Really. Help me. 
happened? We gotta get him to a hospital. He's hurt. Oh, hurt bad. Explode Use my belt. Make a tourniquet for his arm. He's bleeding. Hey kids, here's how you make it to me. <laughs> Take your belt. Really nice yeah, Who was it that you also use it to tie up right. when you're shooting? That up. is, we did. You got him here just in time. He's conscious now and he's going to be all right. Oh, oh thank right. goodness. Could could we talk to him? I'd like to well, sort of explain what I don't think that's necessary. He knows what he needs to know. What's that? What that the hot wheels saved his life. <laughs> hot wheels saved his life. Yes, I know. That who you Dexter are. Carter and his bunch are getting their driving licenses suspended. Have they say driving school, you hot wheels run here. Well, the, 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 the shirt's on backwards. I'd like to come by from time to time. Come on. If you don't mind, that is. You're welcome anytime, Sergeant. Well, thank you, Jack. I guess everybody makes a mistake in judgment now and then. I know I did. But I guess maybe that just well, I'm just an old Irish after all. <laughs> Gonna go home and have me some lucky charms. <laughs> And some potatoes, of course. Wow. Lord how I need to consult a little more on that script. Jesus. Make it a little more stereotypical, please. <laughs> Sam Kine. Marble guest. Big curb in the curbstones. There you go. Jay, our YouTube channel is Trust Punch Challenge. You can... Email us at uh, trustfundchallenge at gmail.com. Our Facebook is slash trustfundchallenge. Trust you to say. <laughs> and, our, <laughs> and our Twitter is at tfundchallenge. It's very nice. Thanks, Rick. <laughs>